Well, here it is. My cell it took me about a year to get to this stage. <laughs> and um, I'll show what this cell does a little later in some videos. Uh, how my own world premiere. But what I wanted to show you today is in between these uh, plates, I have a, a clear high zod plastic. It's a high temperature, stays nice and firm, keeps all your gaps true, not like the squishy rubber or neoprenes. And uh, it's been running for a pretty long time. It doesn't leak at all. haven't seen no leaks anywhere. I can get it nice and tight. But what I wanted to show you today is um, a way to make gaskets. I got sick of waiting for um, companies to make these and uh, kissing their butt. And they want like $2 a gasket. So what I did here is I bought this punch from Harbor Freight. It's pretty cheap. It's like 25 bucks. And then what I did is got a plate. Uh, chamfered the holes, made like a, a taper in there, so the punch goes into the hole, and the hole has to be one step bigger than the, the die itself, the punch head. And then what I do is I put a bolt in the hole, like this, and I bring it over here to this punch, put it in my vise, made this little work table, um, out of aluminum, and this hole right here where the die is, it fits pretty snug, so it stays pretty rigid on here. Just drop the plate here. You put two bolts in, that will keep your holes lined up, and you just go right around. Punch, 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 punch. It's pretty simple. Um, here's some gaskets I made, see? There's the high zod polycarbonate. Um, <clears throat> they fit right on your cell like this. And then you can use a standard paper cutter like this to cut your squares, which is pretty simple. I also used a pair of left or right hand uh, tin snips to cut out that center, you know, that line right there and I'm going to start making my own cells and selling them. I'm not doing this for my health. So I'll go buy me a plunge router and make a jig up so I can go right around the router, cut the inside out instead of doing hundreds of gaskets with tin snips. I also use this uh, sanding disc here, you know, to go around the edges of the corners to get them really nice here. And um, it's a pretty simple way to make your own gaskets. So um, save a lot of money. That's the plunge router. I just wanted to show you how you do this. So have a great day. I'll be back. Bye.